You guys have made a big improvement though. Thanks. See, these four like don't appreciate all the success we make because it's like watching your child grow. You don't see how they're growing and then grandma comes to town. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm grandma. Todd's grandma in this analogy. <laughs> Welcome back to 100 Days. So on day 87, we returned to Fire Eye Fitness. We spent a little time complaining about our sore backs from basketball, but we couldn't put off the workout forever. Todd had us do two runs of the obstacle course and afterwards 60 seconds of ab exercises. How long on each of them? A minute on each? 60 seconds for each exercise. I bet that's a long time. I bet that's gonna feel long. <laughs> oh, good job. Has some abs. Then we did the obstacle course again. This time one of us had to do ropes for as long as the other person was moving through the course. Hurry up, John. You can do it, John. Good work. All right, Chris, hit that course. That was tough, but I've really grown to love this place. Todd knows exactly how to push us to our limits, but not beyond them. And the obstacle course that had seemed totally impossible to me on day two now felt kind of like a playground. It's very hard. It's crazy how hard that is. I can't talk. So you're speechless. That's... I, I would be very interested to try this in like 10 weeks. Feel good? I feel great. We did some renegade row sets and then a kettlebell squat and press, and then Todd had us do a third obstacle course run through, and we finished up with abs and a minute straight of burpees. Is this the same kettlebell we had last time? Because it feels much lighter. Yes, this is the same one you used last time. I was kind of hoping to hear that. Overall, it was really fun to go back to the obstacle course and see Todd again and also his adorable dog. I know that was a highlight for Sheridan at least. You land on Remy, it's 50 burpees. You guys ought to come out with us in September. We do the burpee 5K. You do burpees for five, for three miles? Yep. You can do one of two things. You can either do a broad jump out, because most people can jump their own height, or once you start getting tired, I tell people to take two steps, which is typically also your own height. Then you do a burpee? Yeah. For three miles? For 3.1 miles. Uh, I think it took us about three and a half hours last oh time. Oh my god. Wait. 200, 300 burpees. 300? Uh, 2,000. Yeah. Mm, no, I, look, that's the day that I go and like volunteer yes. at that charity. Right. We have um, obligations. Yeah. It, we, it, we signed up yeah. for stuff. I, yeah. Todd, I mean, I'll, I'll be thinking about you guys. Yeah. And we would have loved to do it. What? But unfortunately, if it wasn't that day, yeah, yeah. If it was any other day, any, I would do a burpee five. Any other day, I mean, if you guys change the date, right? And, you know, then I would do two thousand burpees over the course of seven hours. Yeah. Call my landline if <laughs> it, the date changes. And yeah, we will. We'll be there. Do you have a landline? Yeah. And I'm still crushing it with my food tracking, although I didn't totally crush it with my actual eating today because I had some Jimmy John's and a beer and some french fries, but Chris's food is a total mystery. Chris! Day 88 was a Thursday and I had to take a very quick work trip to Los Angeles, but I couldn't really take a rest day, so I was at LAX at 1 a.m. my time walking laps in the Delta Terminal to get my 30 minutes of brisk walking in. But I did it, and then I ate some airport food. Chris had a much better Thursday. He had a workout session with Laura, so I'm gonna let him do the voiceover for a bit. Thanks, John. Marina, Laura, and I went to downtown Indianapolis to try out the Indiana Pacers bike share. They have stations all over the city where you can pick up and return bicycles. In between riding around, Laura would have us do some more strenuous exercises, like running stairs, side shuffling, jumping jacks, and lots and lots of push-ups. Overall, this was a great day. I miss John, of course, but Marina is much more beautiful and better company. That was really cool. Just, that was cool. Just like getting on those bikes. You see them all the time and you don't really think, you think, oh, I wonder who actually gets on and uses those, and then when you do. And you realize that it's people doing YouTube shows. They're the ones that- <laughs> Not just that. That's why the business, I don't know that how, what the long-term business structure is gonna be like for it. The day was fun because this has been a, a thing that you and John have done, which has been really important for, for you to do together. But for Sarah and I, you know, it's good for us to, to 
to experience it with you in small doses. So that day was my opportunity to go and kind of be there for you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was really fun. I also have three food photos for the day. Shocker! Steak and vegetables, an omelet, and a banana with peanut butter. Back to you, John. Okay, I'm back. I have to take over so Chris doesn't get too hungry with power. So Friday was when my red eye arrived home, so I slept all day. And then on Saturday, I ran for nine miles in a row without stopping. Sorry, I'm very pleased with myself. And here's some of my food and some unflattering photos of Chris because he's basically given up on food tracking. So we only have one full week left of 100 days and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm thrilled with how my diet has been going for the last few weeks. I feel like I'm fully in control of my nutrition choices. I don't know why the nutrition part of this took so long for me, but I feel like it's just clicked in. Following my rules has just worked for me. In fact, I've turned it into a song. No alcohol, no processed carbs, and no added sugars that I just sing to myself all the time. Technically, I guess the song should go, no alcohol on weekdays, no processed carbs, and no added sugars, but you know, that doesn't flow off the tongue as well. Exercise continues to be fun and really good for my mental health, and meditation continues to be a little bit annoying, but also probably good for my mental health, so yeah, I'll take it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on day 91. 91? Oh, we're almost done!